Hello, my dear students. I welcome you all to the next subtopic, oscillation chapter. And in this subtopic, we are going to learn about the phase in a system. So, what phase means? Phase, as the name suggests, it is an angle. So, in physics, the phase means an angle. So, angle means what angle gives, what phase gives in a system is the complete information. It gives you the complete information about the particle. Complete information about the particle. So, part uh, the phase actually gives the complete information about the particle. So, where the particle is, what is the current position of the particle, where the particle is moving towards the mean position or towards the positive extreme position or towards the negative extreme position, this information is given by phase. So, if in the equation of x is equal to a sine of omega t plus 5. So this omega t plus 5, it gives the complete information about the particle. So this is called as phase. So omega t, so what is the value of phase? The phase that is equal to omega t plus 5. So this is called as phase. So what is phase? Phase is the SHM. Phase in SHM that is simple harmonic motion or for any motion, whatever it may be. It can be any motion. Is basically the state of oscillation. The state of oscillation means State of oscillation means state of oscillation means complete information about the oscillation, complete information about the particle. Knowing only the displacement is not enough. So suppose we know the value of displacement, suppose x is equal to um, one. So it is not enough to know the complete information about the particle because at a given position there are two possible directions of velocity. So suppose this is what uh, the x is equal to zero, the mean position and this is x is equal to 1. So there are there are two possibilities that it's suppose the particle will be moving towards the positive extreme position or the particle may be moving towards the mean position. So the velocity will be having two directions. So there are two possible directions of the velocity that means at a single point you will get two velocities. And uh, this will repeat for successive oscillation. So again if suppose it can complete one oscillation again at x is equal to 1 you will reach the same case. Again, at x is equal to 1 in each and every oscillation, you will, you will get the same case. So, knowing only the velocity is also not enough. So, if you say that if I want to get the velocity, then also it is not enough because there are two different positions for the same velocities. So, if suppose you say that the velocity is equal to 2 meters per second, suppose I know the velocity. So velocity it is 2 meters per second uh, for in this direction also it can be 2 meters per second in this particular direction also towards the towards the uh, positive negative side of uh, x axis or towards the positive or negative extreme position. So knowing the displacement is also not enough, knowing the velocity is also not enough. So what we have to know, we have to know the complete displacement. The complete displacement it gives you the complete information about the particle. So the angular displacement data can thus be used as a phase of a system as it varies continuously with respect to time. So because there is a time term is there, also this omega is equal to 2 pi divided by t. So there are there is a t term and also there is an initial phase from where the particle is starting. So this all the information are there present in this uh, uh, equation. I can say this is called as the phase of a system or you can say it is a phase angle or it is also called as angular displacement, the theta it is also called as angular displacement. In this case it is called as the phase angle, so this is what a phase. So we will see some uh, special cases in the phase of a system. So for example, if suppose the phase uh, theta it is equal to 0, so it indicates that the particle is at the mean position. So if suppose at the mean position, the theta it is equal to 0, I can say the particle it is at the mean position. At positive extreme position, I can say the theta it is equal to uh, uh, 90 degree and uh, for negative extreme position I can say the theta it is equal to 270 degree. So 0 degree, 90 degree, 270 degree, again this is 360 degree, again there will be 180 degree between 0 degree and 360 degree like this. So moving to the positive direction during the beginning of the first oscillation. Phase angle it is 160 degree or I can say 2 pi in the beginning of the second oscillation. So for example, if suppose it is starting from 0, then it will move here, it will become 90, again it will move here, it will become 180, 
again it will move in this direction it will become nine minus 90 right minus 90 means 270 and again it will move here it will be 360 so again if the, this this completes the complete the one oscillation so this completes one oscillation again if suppose the oscillation is to be started so it will start from 360 degree not zero degree okay so the phase angle 360 or 2 pi in the beginning of the second oscillation and so on for the successive oscillations right so that means what is the value of uh, theta if suppose here theta is equal to zero this omega d plus um, pi so it will become theta it will be equal to 2 pi plus omega t plus pi for second oscillation so this is for first oscillation so this is for second oscillation similarly if suppose you want to get for third oscillation you will get 4 pi plus cos plus omega t into pi so this is for third oscillation like this you have to add 2 pi 2 pi 2 pi like this okay so i hope you understood this you have to wait you have to pause the video and you have to write all the things what is the special case to the special case to is if suppose the phase angle is 180 degree so phase angle is 180 degree or i can say pi radians so it indicates that the, during its first oscillation the particle it is at the main position and moving towards the negative so that means i told you this is what zero it is moving towards the positive and it reaches the positive extreme position so here it is uh, it is 90 plus 90 again it will move here it will become 180 so that means 180 and moving in this direction it will become 270 so that is towards the negative extreme position so if theta it is equal to 180 degree or i can say pi radians indicate that during its first oscillation the particle it is at the mean position and moving to the negative and it is moving towards the negative similar state in the second oscillation it there will be 360 plus 180 so there will be this 180 or i can say pi radians term will, will be there so 360 equivalent in radians is 2 pi and uh, 180 equivalent is pi so it can be 2 pi plus pi and so on for the successive oscillations so again it will come back again it will move like this so this will be one oscillation again the next oscillation will start it will be added with 90 uh, this 180 180 plus 360 degree again it will be 180 plus 360 plus 360 degree like this and so on for the successive oscillations so next special case 3 special case 3 if suppose the phase is 90 degree or pi by 2 so this indicates that the particle it is at the positive extreme position so i told you this is what zero actually this is positive extreme position so this is what 90 degree right so if theta is equal to 90 degree or the equivalent of 90 degrees pi by 2 i can say the particle it is at positive extreme position so in the case of positive extreme position during the first oscillation for the second oscillation it will be 90 uh, plus 360 degree it will be 2 pi plus 90 radians and so on for the successive oscillations okay next if suppose it is at uh, 3 pi by 2 so this phase it gives you the complete information of the particle so just by knowing where what is the phase you can say that it is present at the negative extreme position it is present at the negative extreme position the theta is equal to 270 degree or i can say 3 pi by 2 right and if suppose that this is for the first oscillation for the next oscillation onwards it will be 360 plus 270 again it will be 360 plus 360 plus 270 degree phase for successive oscillations so this is all about the phase in SHM. the next topic that we are going to learn is the composition of two SHMs. thank you so much all of you for paying attention goodbye take care bye bye